Calculating enthalpy of formations using Hess's law. This is the equipment needed for part one of the experiment. All the materials can be found in your locker, otherwise the TA will provide it for you. The chemicals needed for this part are HCl and NaOH, and they will be provided to you by your TA. Using a 25 mL pipette, carefully measure 50 mL of the limiting reagent into a 100 mL beaker. Follow the link in the description below for a more detailed video on pipetting. Using a graduated cylinder, transfer 50 mL of the excess reagent into the styrofoam cup. Begin setting up the calorimeter by putting the burette clamp on the retort stand. Clip the thermometers into the clamp. Place both solutions beneath the thermometers. Adjust the clamp to lower the thermometers into the solutions. Monitor the temperature of the two solutions and once they are 0.5 degrees from one another, record the temperature. Continue to do so for the next 4 minutes at 1 minute intervals. At the 5 minute mark, pour the contents from the beaker into the styrofoam cup and swirl the solution. Do not record the temperature at this time. Wait 1 minute, then lower the thermometer into the reaction mixture and measure the temperature. Continue to do so for the next 4 minutes at 1 minute intervals. You will use these measurements to plot a time versus temperature graph to extrapolate the temperature at the 5 minute mark. For part 2 of the experiment, repeat the procedure from part 1 using HCl and NH4OH. This is the equipment needed for part 3 of the experiment. With the weighing bottle, weigh ammonium chloride by difference using the analytical balance. Follow the link in the description below for a video on how to weigh by difference. Measure 100 ml of distilled water into the styrofoam cup using a graduated cylinder. Repeat the procedure from part 1 and measure the temperature of the distilled water for 4 minutes at 1 minute intervals. At the 5 minute mark, pour the contents from the weighing bottle into the styrofoam cup and stir using a glass rod. Use Kim wipes when handling the weighing bottle. Wait 1 minute and then lower the thermometer into the reaction mixture and measure the temperature. Continue to do so for the next 4 minutes at 1 minute intervals. Remember to reweigh the empty weighing bottle on the analytical balance. Your graph will look something like this. Note that your graph should clearly display your temperature values on the y-axis. Add two lines of best fit, one for the data points from 0 to 4 minutes and the other for the points from 6 to 10 minutes. Using these lines of best fit, extrapolate your readings from time 0 to 4 minutes to the 5 minute mark to determine T initial. Similarly, extrapolate your readings from time 6 to 10 minutes to the 5 minute mark to determine T final. The change in temperature delta T is equals to T final minus T initial.